Hey guys, Chris here. Um, I'm making a video today on why I returned my 2020 M340 back to stage one on XHP and MHD. So basically, I had the car to deal with three weeks ago. Um, there was an issue with an uh, oil level or a oil pressure solenoid on this car. So I had to return the car back to stock. So that meant returning MHD back to factory and XHP back to stage zero. Now, what I found was upon returning it back to stage zero on XHP and stock factory uh, engine tune, I noticed that the car ran significantly smoother. Not only accelerating, but just general driving, shifting, um, coming to a stop was much smoother. Now, since I've had it at the dealer, I've done multiple different settings and different... Uh, customizations on the car such as mhd stage one stage two 91 93 xhp stage zero through stage three with custom settings applied such as uh, shift maps um m throttle blips for the paddle shifters things such as that um and what i found is from my experience now every car is different you have to remember that every car is different um with how it's in a shift how it's going to drive but I found that my car drives best on MHD Stage 1, 93, with XHP on Stage 1. So the XHP Stage 1 removes the torque limiters off the transmission, and that also gives you your gear indicator. Now, from what I found is that when I had the car in Stage 2 XHP and Stage 3 XHP, no matter what I did to change the shift maps, um change any of the settings on xhp i noticed that every gear below fifth gear would not shift or downshift smoothly now this wasn't really an issue on upshifting um but specifically on downshifting now what i did is i tried everything i tried changing the shift maps and all that and even on for example stage two with stock shift maps i still had the same issue stage three same issue um, and I've had XHP on this car for probably, I'd say 8,000 miles. Um, and I've never changed the transmission fluid on this car. Um, and I never really, really thought about it that much because I just drove the car. Um, but ever since going back to the dealer and having to flash it back, you know, it does really change the car. Like XHP stage one. I found personally, now this is me personally, um, makes the car drive 10 times smoother. Now, it depends on what you're looking for. Like, personally, this is my daily driver and my only car. So, you know, yes, I could flash stage three if I want to, and I could probably drive it. And yes, I will admit, it does drive faster. It, sh it bangs gears in Sport Plus mode, like DCT level shifting. Um, but, you know, at least where I live, you know, it's a lot of city driving. So, like, most of the time you're less than 50 miles an hour where you're not cruising on the highway. So, I found that, personally, the car drives way smoother in stage one. Um, now, it is kind of disappointing because XHP is not cheap. XHP for the G-Series BMWs runs you about 480 500 bucks. Now, I'm not saying it's a complete waste, but if you're only looking for the torque limiter removal, um, you're better off going with something like boot mode. I'm on MHD, but you're better off getting boot mode and just going through their trans flash since it's free, and that removes your torque limiters, and you can run your stage one or stage two through boot mode. Um, but, you know, really, like, I'm probably going to keep the car on stage one, XHP. The car drives extremely smooth on XHP stage one. Like, you don't feel shifts. Um, sport mode has the perfect shift speed. It's not too fast. It's not too jarring. Um, XHP on stage 3 can be kind of jarring. Where you'll get uh, pretty harsh shifts in sport mode. Which is kind of cool once in a while. But, you know, if you just want to cruise around in manual mode. The car is constantly jerking back and forth like a DCT. Now, I understand that's what it's kind of made for. But it would be nice, like, on the F-Series to have it so you have... Uh, uh, what was it? S soft shifting in um 
in sport mode. I never had an F-Series car, so I'm not really familiar with their setting options, but um, I know they have soft shifting in sport mode. That'd be pretty nice to have on G-Series, but anyways, um, basically, I'm deciding to keep the car on Stage 1 XHP. You know, if I want to go out with the boys and, you know, we got the cars out, maybe I shifted to Stage 3, you know, you get the quick downshifts and whatnot, but for a daily driver, I'm going to tell most people, Stage 1 XHP, you know, I've heard, I've done my research, you know, a lot of people say Stage 2, but in my specific application, every application is different. Your M340 might drive perfectly smooth Stage 2 and Stage 3, mine doesn't who knows what it is um but you know i think for most people stage one is best it removes your torque limiters so if you have a custom tune or a boot mode mhd you could get the benefit of running a stage one or stage two tune and not be torque limited because i did have st mhd before xhp and there is a noticeable difference with the torque um having it limited you really feel it in maybe between like 3,000, 4,000, where it's at peak torque, and it kind of bulbs on its face, um, but, you know, I would probably recommend most people, you know, if you're looking at XHP, unless you drive the car hard, you drive it aggressive, you know, you race the car, I probably wouldn't recommend it for the almost $500 it is. I mean, personally, it is worth it if you do drive the car hard, or you want to have a little fun on a weekend or something like that, and throw it in stage three, that's cool, but I think for a majority of population that either if you have a 20 or 21 and you're not femto unlocked, it really is kind of pointless. Um, or if you have a 2020, unless you're going for big power numbers, it's kind of pointless. You're better off just getting boot mode and having it with the torque limiter unlocked. You, it's basically the same thing um, if you're not going for crazy power that is. Um, but I figure I just share my experience with XHP on this car. Um, I'm not trying to talk down to XHP because it's great. It shifts quick. It they, it does what it says it's supposed to do, which is shift quick, uh, quick shifts, firm shifts. Um, it you can change the shift map so where it, it change uh, shifts in the RPMs and what speed, whatever. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't. It's not you know as advertised, but what I will say is kind of be cautious and know what you're getting yourself into with this you know you're spending almost five hundred dollars on xhp um and i think you're better off if you're gonna if you haven't tuned the car yet and you plan on doing a tune do boot mode and just have their trans flash and you could remove the torque limiter and you'll probably be fine with that um i know some people i've heard a lot on the forums and a lot on facebook groups that oh you have to have xhp it um increases line pressure and increases where it reduces slip in the transmission yes that's true but that's only to a certain point right because if your clutches are slipping let's say you're putting 650 foot pounds of torque which is the claimed limit of the 8 hp 50 which is one that what's in the m340s um you probably should be looking at a new transmission at that point probably going through pure um getting a stage one that's their cheapest um but you know that's something you should be prepared for i'm stage one like i think stage one on mhd is like around 420 horsepower maybe like 430 torque 440 torque so it's not anywhere near the limits of this transmission um where i'd get concerned about anything slipping or anything going wrong with the car which is you know i think everyone's top priority with these things you don't want it to break but, you know, if you're like stage 2 E40, E50 mix where you're putting a shit ton of torque through the transmission, you know, you should, that's maybe a point where I'd recommend XHP because you could do a line pressure bump in the settings, which does clamp the force, uh, the discs tighter, which will give you firmer shifts, quicker shifts. But the next thing is, you know, then you have the chance of it prematuring, uh, premature wear on your seals, your pistons, your valve body, your torque converter your uh, torque converter pump all that um has ex increased wear when you increase line pressure on an automatic transmission um but that's just something you should be aware of with xhp on the g-series platform um 
But, um, you know, some people, like I said, some people have said they have had great reviews. You know, it does run great. But then again, just be cautious. You know, the car isn't shifting perfect. Mess with the settings a little bit. Um, you might have better luck that way. But for me personally, I find that uh, XHP Stage 1 is the best. Remove your torque limiters, you get your gear indicator, and, you know, all is good. But that's just my review on xhp with mhd on my um 2020 m345 x drive um if you have any like solutions or anyone knows why it might be doing that um it's not really a problem with the car it's just something i noticed um because i'm on stage one and this thing shifts beautifully um but if you guys know any information on that um leave a comment down below otherwise uh that's it for the video thank you